What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Snap Walkthrough. Okay, so, in the last episode, we may have taken a trip or two to find out that there is, uh, well, you know, there are signs around this whole area right here. Like we didn't know. So what I mean is that there are th there are six signs around the Pokemon Island because it will unlock something very, very special. And because of that, Professor Oak has opened up a new page for us. As you can see, it's in red. Let's go right ahead and take a look at these signs. So, the first sign right here says, It is said that somewhere on this island is a mysterious group of huge rocks. Surprisingly, if you look at it from a certain angle, it appears to be a Pokemon shape. Hmm, I wonder where that could be. Now, here we have another one. When light shines on an object, its shadow will appear on the wall behind it. Somewhere there is a shadow that looks like a Pokemon. Hmm, I wonder where that could be. And then right here, here we're looking, smoke changes the shape, or its shape, and some shapes look like a Pokemon. Where can you find smoke? You already know. Well, I want all the smoke. Pretty much. Now here we have the other six, or the other three for the, from the six. We got this one. Have you heard of a tree near the river on the jungle that looks like Cubone? No one knows who planted it, but I have heard that someone has seen seen the tree. It's a mystery. Hmm. And then, well, we got this weird looking one right here. Shining brightly somewhere. That's all I know about this. And then finally, Somewhere in the middle of the steep mountains is a mountain that looks like a Pokemon. I went to the valley to find this mountain. Well, too bad he couldn't find it or anything like that. So this is what we're going to be doing right now, guys. Is We're going to actually take a look at the first three signs in this whole mystery right here. Now, obviously, six signs, six places we visited. On top of that, this will actually help us improve on a few scores that we need to improve on because, uh, yeah, trust me, we need to improve on a few scores. So the first visit right here will be at the beach. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what we got right here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Pig pimping. Picture. Picture. Not going to take that picture. But I do have a bone to settle with this guy right here. Oh, nearly missed it. Okay. Good luck, Link, for us. We got the R button right here, and we're going to hit him right here. That's right. Go ahead. Faint. Faint, you jerk ass. There we go. There we go. Now, the first sign right here is, uh, well, obviously a group of rocks. We got spiky. We got this. We got that. So what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be turning around and taking a picture of this homeboy right here. Boom. Sign. That's all we need to do is just take one good picture, and, well... We can always take pictures of Lapras and all that stuff. I kind of want to do that. Uh, hmm. What if we throw an apple at this guy? Will he wake up? Nope. But if you throw a pester ball, some good pictures. Of course, we got a mysterious one right here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually hit a lot of Pokemon right here and just, uh, you know, take very, very, very awesome pictures. Look at this. A meow. Look at that. Look at that. Very good pictures. Thank you for posing for me. Now, there are going to be some other Pokemon that, you know, we have found, or that we do know it's around, like right here. We won't be taking pictures of them because we're kind of saving them for the next, well, the very, very last episode and all that stuff right here. So, let's see. Well, I could do that. That could be a Scyther right there, but we'll wait for, we'll wait for the rest later. And there we go. Now, the reason I'm taking pictures of Lapras is because I wanted up close and personal. The more pictures you take in the middle of the uh, camera, the more, or the the well, the more Lapras will come uh, ahead of you. And well, let's see. I believe we do have one, one picture that we need to uh, we need to uh, we we need to settle, and that is Evie, and I think Jinx right here. So or not Jinx, but Chansey. So let's go right ahead and. Ah, oh, crap, baskets. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. A brand new picture right there. And, well, let's see. Come on, Lapras. Never mind. Let's go ahead and hit Kangaskhan right here. Now it's going to turn around. And that is two Pokemon right there that we can actually say that we actually got. Now, here's another one that you can actually do. Now, take pictures of... Pidgey right here. There we go. Wasn't the best one, but I'm pretty darn sure that we got, like, 
a picture that can actually say that it's using its gust and all that stuff. Because the last time we came over here, yeah, it only got Meowth and it didn't really count as a gust. It was more of like, you know, Meowth getting destroyed and whatnot. So, let's go right ahead and uh, see what we got here. We got 31 good pictures. And, oh damn, okay. Let's go with this one right here. Now, I get that the other one is like jumping, but... I'd rather not. And well, we got more pictures of Lapras not going to work. And oh dang! Okay. I could go for this one right here. It's bigger. It's in the middle and all that stuff. Now I am going to save this picture for the album and all that stuff. And well, yeah, we're a little closer to this guy right here. So that might add up a little bit more points. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Horrible picture by Eevee, but let's go ahead and take a let, let's go ahead and see if that beats it. And well, here we have Chansey, and the newest addition to our little collection. I did not realize that we didn't take a picture of uh, Kangaskhan. That is perfect right there. And well, let's see. Let's go with that one. And well, let's go to the album art right here. I want to, I want to take. I want to actually keep this picture right here. This one is perfect right here. Look at that. That's a perfect picture right there. All right. So let's go. Let's go and see how much uh, how much we screwed up right here. So here we have Doe Duo, and it looks like we are. Oh wow. Okay. Look at it. Okay. So we did a better job on that stuff. Okay. So it was a good idea. And well, here we have 691,000, and well, we beat the other score. That's good. And here we have Meowth. Look at this. The pose is right there. The technique. Well done. Oh, yes. We smoke it out of the water. And here we have Eevee. Crud baskets. Okay. Okay. Great. Well done. Okay. So we... Okay. You could say that we got out of the, the 200s right there. Now, here we have a Chansey. Everything's good. Going to the technique. 3,680. And here we have Kangaskhan running at us. And... Bam! Alrighty, okay, so we got a good picture. And this is the one. Wow! Isn't this Gus using Pidgey? Yes, it is. Special. Oh, yes. Oh, no! So it would seem that this one sucked just because uh, its back was turned. So we're going to have to try again the next time. And here we have our first Pokemon sign. And that right there gives us an extra two Pokemon. And now we've increased it to 50. So after doing that, Professor Oak's gonna be like, "Welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace to make your you. uh, to make your work easier. Here is a present for you. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to see a rare Pokemon poses? Play this Poke Flute to uh, Pokemon, or to make it happen. It's easy to use. Press the down C button and allows you to play the Poke Flute." You can listen to a different uh, you can listen to different music by using a down uh, C button. Try playing it often. Shall I repeat this information? No, I will not. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the next area, and that will be the yes. tunnel. Now, there you go, guys. We have uh, officially gotten all our items, and now it is time for us to well get right here. Now, there is a special area where you can actually get that shadow of uh, I believe it was a pincer right here so we're just gonna be strolling along for the ride and all that stuff look at this look at that okay look at that Electabuzz running running like a pimp right there okay and well let's see you know what now that I'm doing this I'm gonna throw a few pester balls just to make some Pokemon faint right here there we go cuz if you hit an electrode Kakuna will appear and crap baskets. And I am not good at this at all, so screw it. Don't care. Do not care. Let's go into the next uh let's go into the next area. Now this is the area where you need to actually uh, pay attention to. Now you do have apples, so let's go right ahead and move those uh apples right next to the egg right here. Oh god dang it, come on, get up, get up! Get up, Pikachu! Follow the there we go, and then play the music. As you can see, he is playing, and it is going to energize this Pokemon right here. And bam, you got yourself 
a cool Zapdos. Now, what happens here is it's going to go into that generator. And it's going to start powering up every single thing around here. So now you don't need to, like, throw a Pester Ball at, at an, an Electabuzz just to find out what clues are there. Which, you know what, I'm going to take care of right here. I think I messed up right here. Hold on, just a sec. Speedy, speedy, speedy. There we go. And... There we go. Now, if you turn around... After you turn on the, the generator right there, here is the shadow, the sign that you are looking for, and bam, you have completed stage two of this whole situation right here. Now, really don't need to do anything else except probably, you know, get these Magnemite to evolve, like quote unquote evolve and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and get them all attracted to this, uh, at, like to this one guy right here. So you throw an apple straight over there. And bam, they evolve. There we go. Look at that. Now, I don't know how that is a Magnemite or a Magneton. To me, that's just three Magnemite just like, you know, attracted to each other. And they're called Magneton and all that crud. So it's like, it's whatever. It's whatever, guys. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Let us get the heck out of here, okay? Oh, look at that. Teleporter in and all that crud. Okay, so let's see what Professor Oak's judgmental, you know, what is going to say. And here we have Zapdos. This one's perfect because it's using its Thunderbolt attack or Thunder, whatever you like to call it. And. God. Hmm. Let's go with this one. I don't think it's going to beat it or anything, but, you know, it's, it's still something. Let's get that close. That we're not going to get points for that, and that is perfect for Magneton. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight to Professor Oak and see what he's going to say to us. And, well, he's like, hmm. Let me see. This is Zapdos. Obviously. Bam. We're getting more points. And, bam, down the middle. Okay, so good enough points right there. And, well, here we have a Diglett. And so far, we're not doing anything. Yes, it's not down the middle. And yes, okay, so we didn't beat it. I tried. Here we have Magneton. And whoa, look at that. Everything's down. It would have been perfect if the Pokemon were in the middle of the frame. It is in the middle of the frame. What the heck are you talking about, man? He's talking about shades. Good gravy. And well, here is a Pokemon report. And bam, impeccable work. Okay, so that's number two. And well... Now we gotta go straight for the next the next route right here, and that would probably be the river, I think, right? No, the volcano. Now the clue there is where smoke or hold on. Something that makes uh, shapes out of smoke. Obviously he's talking about the volcano areas. Now, you do need the pester ball for this situation right here. So all you gotta do right here, guys, is throw the pester ball straight into that volcano hole. And as soon as it does anything, boom, that's what happens. It appears to be a coughing, and that's all we need to do right there. And, well, now that we're here, I'm going to improve on a lot of pictures, guys. One being the Fighting Magmar. That should have been my uh, my best picture, but I think something else beat it. Uh, let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, they're happy. Okay, they did not exactly eat that that uh, apple but it's okay it's fine now here we are just strolling along and well let's see oh damn I kind of wanted to evolve this Pokemon that's a good picture right there but uh, that oh that never mind never mind okay so that we were sure we were SOL on that one so what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna Try and get these guys to come over and stop. Okay, so that's one strategy right there. As soon as Charmander is, uh, you know, calling up his friends right here, we're going to do a little something right here. They're going to be all in unison. Come on. I'm sorry for hitting you, Charmander. You are the best Pokemon ever. There we go. Look at that. Down the middle. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful pictures. All righty. Look at that, look at that. 
Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder if I can, like, throw him into the volcano and stuff. Okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, push this guy in. And, well, there we have Moltres. Now, let's go right ahead and get this uh, fighting Magmar scene going. There we go. Okay, so we got that. And now, let's go ahead and take a better picture of Moltres right here. I'm a little competitive when it comes to Moltres. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that is that. What the heck? Let's just go ahead and wake these guys up. So, if you throw a pester ball at these little holes, it will... Oh, damn it. God dang it. Never mind. Screw it. It's okay, guys. We'll do that next time on Dragon Ball Z. There we go. And throw that guy right in there. And bam! It evolves into a badass Charizard. And will it obey? I don't know. It's too big. Hit it with an apple and flamethrower. There we go. Remember the last time I was here, guys? I almost wasted all my film on taking that picture right there. So, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. We are back into the lab, and let's see what we got right here. We wasted pretty much half our film right here, so let's go ahead and grab this little guy. And, well, let's go ahead and find a better picture. This one, right here. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. That one's cool. Huh. Let's go with that one. It's down the middle. I wanted to do something about that. Here we have Fighting Magmar. There we go. That one right there is going to get it. Maybe. And then... Oh, damn. Okay. So, let's go with this one because the last one, Moltres, of course, obviously takes his... Or closes its eyes. And, wow. That one's perfect right there. And Charizard. Let's go with that right there. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and see what Professor Oak has to say. He might judge us, he might not. It's okay. We've ne it's not like we've never been judged. And, well, here we have the same score. Technique's the same. And, oh, there are other Vulpix. And, unfortunately, we get beat up by, by 10 points right there. So, here we have it again. Oh, crud. Ha! Well, it looks like, wow, 110. That was horrible. Okay, never mind. And here we have Fighting Magmar. Same deal. Losing. And... Oh, double. And there are other Pokemon in the picture. And we smoke it out of the water. Get it? Smoke it. In a smoky area. And here we have Moltres. And it looks like we're... Oh, crud. Oh, crap. Damn it! Okay, so... We were closer. I just wanted to say that. And look at this. The pose, the total, everything. Come on. Well yes. All right. And here we have Charizard. You were close. Crap baskets. Okay, so. Yeah, screw me. Oh. Those other pictures did not work. I just wanted to improve my craft a little, guys. You know, prepare for the next Pokemon Snap. And, well, that completes that. Okay. Welcome back. So that is three signs right there guys so stay tuned in the next episode we are going to complete this whole shindig by going into the last three routes and finding the last three signs and well hopefully maybe just finding some new pokemon right there too so yeah i will see you guys in the next episode see you guys